So this video is on functional areas of a business. Now, businesses are organized into functional areas. So let us examine some of the functional areas. The first functional areas is, area is the production function. Now, production is the process by which raw materials are converted into goods and services or, or finished products, right? So the production department makes the company's products. For example, furniture from lumber, canned tuna from tuna fish, right? This is also known as the operations department. For, so another name for the production department is the operations department, right? So now the production function may include the following. Purchasing the raw materials, scheduling the production process, making of the product, controlling the production process, maintaining an adequate inventory system, establishing quality control procedures, and of course, warehousing finished goods. Then we have the marketing function. Now the marketing function, right, is there to identify, anticipate, and satisfy customers wants profitably. So the, the marketing function includes the following activities. Market research, designing of the product, pricing of the product, publicity, so that's like advertising, etc. Sales promotion, right? Um, promoting a product, buy one, get one free. Distribution of the product, right? Getting the product to the consumer. And of course, after sales service repairs and refunds. So you can call and get um, assistance even after you have purchased the product or after hours as well. Functional, the financial function or, or, or accounting. The financial or accounts department is responsible for financial planning and organizing financial transactions. So we're talking about producing the final accounts of the business. Um, that is preparing something called the trading and profit and loss and balance sheet, right? Um, trading and profit and loss account and balance sheet. So we're going to talk about this a little later down in the syllabus. Making all payments on behalf of the company and receiving all monies due. Advising management on all financial matters. So for example, do I have enough capital to purchase a, a new motor van, right? Um, or is the company able to pay higher wages or what investment possibilities are there? Establishing higher purchase and credit control measures, all right? Then we have the human resource department or as we know it, the personal personnel function, right? So this department is concerned mainly with employees' welfare and is responsible for matters listed below. So now each of these functions, um, these activities that I'm identifying in each function, they are not all that the, these departments are responsible for. These are just some of the activities that takes place in, in each of these departments, right? So we are talking about the human resource department. So some of the functions are recruitment of staff, training of staff, promotion of workers, right? Promoting workers from one level to the next. Maintaining a good industrial climate, right? Making sure that the, 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 the workers, right, are okay. And you're able to um, interact properly with your your employees, right? Um, in terms of proper pay, any issues that they may have. The welfare of workers, so they're looking at sick leave, holiday leave, um, workers' wages, pension schemes, right? So they're responsible for all of that. Disciplining of workers. So workers, yes, um, you're functioning in the department, but if you do something wrong, right? You are going to be disciplined maintaining of the staff employment records, carrying out a social role. For example, providing canteen facilities, uh, maintaining a healthy and clean environment and forming of other support services. So for example, um, you know, credit union, social cultural groups, social groups, right? So uh, for example, they might have like, uh, events within the, the a dinner, right? So other support services. Research and development is also a key 
um, functional area in the business. And this department is responsible for developing um, new products. It is an important function in research-based industries such as pharmaceuticals or technology. And this department works closely with production and marketing. So the functions of this department include conducting consumer research, financial research, and conducting what we will call feasibility studies. We're going to discuss this a little later on and piloting projects. All right. Now there are some non-traditional business um, businesses. And in these businesses, we have other functions as follows. Legal, this legal department deals with legal issues. The IT department, which would maintain all of the IT systems and deal with any technology related issues. All right, so that they may, um, it may cover purchasing of, of production, finance, personnel, sales, um, uh, sales apps and, and, uh, applications, um, oh gosh, programs to assist in those areas. Security, the, this department handles anti-crime measures and security aspects of the business operations, right? We have administration, which would take care of all of the administrative issues in any firm. Corporate communications, corporate communications will deal with, um, you know, reaching out or, or, speaking on behalf of the firm, all right? And then we have property management or premises and property management or premises would deal with um, managing or handling the property aspect of the, the business, all right? Identi so the following is an activity and I want to put the activity on the screen for y'all. So what y'all can do, y'all can pause the video here and you can go through the activity, right? Um, so that you can uh, you can test your knowledge on what we would have done and see if you can figure out which department is responsible for the following the activity that is listed on your left. All right.